Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are back at Universal Studios in Hollywood. This is my family's first time. I'm so excited to share it with them. So let's get going. It is 7.28 in the morning and this is the early access line. So we're gonna get into the park an hour early to go to Super Nintendo World. So it's officially 7.30 and they haven't started letting people through. I did ask us services last night and they said somewhere between 7.30 and 7.40. They'll start letting people in through the gate. And we are in! Amy and the kids, <laughs> James is super excited, Benjamin's super excited, everyone's super excited. We're going straight to Super Nintendo World because we have early access. They bring us to the top of the escalator here and then just hold us, so we're waiting till they take us down. Here we go, we're going, we're going through the green pipe. It's like everyone funnel. <laughs> here we go, wow. This is awesome! Who's excited? Woo! Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge! Oh! Big gigantic Bowser head! Now that is really cool right there. I love that. <laughs> Look, the cups, the different cups. The star cup and the banana cup and the mushroom cup. Oh, we got these fun Mario hats we have to put on. After the ride, we end up here in a gift shop. What? You like those shirts? Because they have a nice yellow color. Oh, all Mario themed. Look, they have a Mario and Luigi meet and greet. Oh, how cool. Except for they're leaving it right now. So because we have early access, we better just, you know, take advantage of the low wait time of 20 minutes and just go ride it again. As we're walking through the queue again, I do want to talk about some thoughts. I thought the ride would be a lot faster. Being Mario Kart, I thought that it would be a race, you know, kind of like Radiator Racers. No, it's more just like a standard dark ride, kind of like Toy Story Midway Mania almost. You spin every now and again, and you're playing a game actively on your visor. So we're gonna leave the land now, and I think we wanna go through this green pipe. Yep, here we go, this will get us out of the land. Uh, so what we did with early entry is we rode twice, then right at nine o'clock when the rest of the park opened, um, they were handing out reservation cards at Toadstool. So you could do walk up at Toadstool for the morning, but it was all lunch food. We didn't wanna eat lunch food for breakfast. So right at nine o'clock, we got a little wait list ticket. Uh, for 11.15 at Toadstool, and then I confirmed they'll let us back into the Super Nintendo Land with that ticket, so we don't need the virtual queue reservation anymore. Okay, so we're going to Mummy, and because Benjamin is uh, too short to ride the ride, you have to be 48 inches, uh, we don't need to get a locker because Amy's gonna sit off with him and hold all the stuff, and she comes through the line with us, which is great. And then we do the rider swap afterwards without having to go through the line again. I, know, I think that's I fantastic. Like that. So Amy will ride with James while I wait off with Benjamin. After you get off the ride, you can check out your ride photos. Looks like they've got those here you can purchase. We're gonna sit right here on this bench and wait for James and Amy to get back out now. So uh, what did you think about the mummy? It was Good. short and I don't like the bugs. <laughs> I like the backwards part. So this is your first time here at Hollywood. Can you compare it to Orlando? Honestly, I had forgone the whole entire ride, so it was like riding a new ride again. So it's kind of hard to compare, but it was still fun. Yeah. But I don't remember there being bugs. Over off to our left is the line to get into Super Nintendo World. We're just going straight ahead. We're going to ride Transformers the Ride. Extraterrestrial Species Treaty. There's the Allspark, right there, the last remaining fragment. It's Ravage, he's after the Allspark! Mission to go! Come on, let's get out of this city! belongs to me. Take cover! Thanks for meeting the challenge. Let's head on back to base. 
That ride was a lot longer than I recall it from back in September. Like, I was like, wow, just scene after scene after scene. Yes. When is this thing gonna end? I know, I was thinking. <laughs> It was longer than I thought because I couldn't do it, guys. I get Star Tours is my limit, and even then I have my eyes closed for half of that. This, I had to take my glasses off, and I had to close my eyes for half of it. And you still have a headache, don't you? I still have you? a headache, so. She doesn't handle the screen type rides very well. I don't see her probably coming back to Universal after this. Maybe. Okay, I mean, there's plenty of other rides. Though. Yeah. And I was fine on Bowser's. Yeah. Like, I heard a lot of people can't handle Bowser's. Okay. I was fine on Bowser's. So Amy was fine fast. on Bowser's. Take that for what you will. Here's the line waiting to get in. It's Megatron. Out here doing meet and greets. He knows where to look. <laughs> Stop micromanaging. <laughs> We're gonna head back up to the upper lot now. We'll do Jurassic Park a little bit later when it's a tad warmer. Um, he doesn't want to ride. He doesn't it. want to ride it. Benjamin says he didn't want to ride Jurassic Park, but he also didn't want to ride Transformers. And after he got off Transformers, he's like, "I like that ride." I think the goal right now is finally to go to Hogsmeade, and I'm gonna get my first frozen butter beer of the day if it's open. Amy wants to get a hot butter beer, uh, and then we're gonna see what rides we can do. Maybe go to Ollivanders. We'll see. We didn't get to stop and take in the sights earlier just because we were rushing to get down to Super Nintendo World, but uh, wow, gorgeous view. Got some snow-capped mountains over there in the distance. Snow-capped mountains in Los Angeles. Who would have thunk it? Okay, here we go. We're gonna go into Hogsmeade. I wanted to make sure we came in the main entrance just because it's so much better of an entrance compared to the other one. Got the Hogwarts Express over off to our right. What'd you say? Snow. You see snow on all the rooftops. Isn't that fun? They have Zonkos over here and Honey Dukes. But we're gonna probably come over here and get a butter beer first off. They're making butter beer right here. Here we go. My butter beer. Mmm. Mmm. Heavenly. This stuff is so amazing. This is probably gonna be my first of like three today. I have mostly been avoiding sugar, but I have to break that for this, cause wow. Uh, so we had to come in the uh, three broomsticks here in order to get the hot butter beer. They have the cold and frozen outside, but the hot is only available in a restaurant like the Hogshead or um, the three broomsticks. Amy is waiting for her hot butter beer. She's so excited. I learned while we were waiting in line that the Silver Annual Pass does not offer a discount. You have to have gold or platinum to get a discount here at Universal Studios. Okay. I don't have a decorative cup. No, you don't have a decorative cup like me, Wizarding World of Harry Potter. But um, what do you think of the hot butter beer? I am so happy right now. <laughs> you know, I, I had three of these the last time I was here because they were that good. And in the five months since I've been here, I've forgotten what these taste like. And just having that sip again, oh man, this is the greatest drink that exists on earth. Like, seriously, I love frozen butter beer more than any other Slurpee or Slushy or anything that I've ever had before. It's just, why? The whole reason I bought a pass is so that I can come up and get these again. So there's a couple of places that you can get the cold and frozen butter beers. There's one down that way in front of the three broomsticks, had a really long line. And this one over here has nobody at it. So that's where I came and got mine. Uh, just a little hack if you, you don't want to wait in line. Here we go. Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey. 15 minute wait. Probably should go do that first. We've got Hippogriff over here. I'm not sure which one we should do first to be honest with you. So because Amy has a drink, we're gonna see if we can go do this uh, if they'll let her through the line because uh, at least then she can sit off during the rider switch and drink it. Looks like they do have a test ride vehicle in the queue if you want to make sure that you can fit okay. Potter, the boy who lived, the boy who survived by the seat of his pants. It's the fat lady. Yes. <laughs> Hello. Am I supposed to make you all in? Have we got a password then? What is this school coming to? Who you live to tell the tale. And most of all, have fun. Always great to go do Forbidden Journey. I like it. 
Amy, on the other hand, what? What are your thoughts? I don't like spiders. Yeah, I was gonna say the spiders. And I don't like getting tossed upside down. So I rode. I rode it. Because I wanted to see it again, I will not be riding it again today. But you all. said this is better than Transformers. This one doesn't affect me. It's because it's not 3D. Yeah. Transformers was tolerable when I took my glasses off, but even then it was still like too much shaking. This one's okay. Now we're going to come over here to Flight of the Hippogriff. Okay, okay. Well, look, Hagrid's motorbike. How oh, cool. And Hagrid's hut. Oh, I hear, uh, what's his name? Why have I forgotten his name? It was Fang. I had to look it up. I don't know why. It just poof out of my mind. Go on then. The kids thought that was so fun, they wanted to go ride it again. So that's what we're gonna do, because it was pretty much a walk-on. We just came out of the public conveniences. And Moaning Myrtle is in there talking to you and saying things while you're trying to go. <laughs> no one ever talked to Moaning Myrtle. <laughs> so a little bit later today, we're gonna eat here at the Three Broomsticks. But we're going back down to Super Mario World right now for lunch. We're back down in the lower lot now. Looks like there is a uh, Mario snack place over here uh, that's outside the actual land. So you can still get some Mario themed food outside. Uh, we're actually gonna go towards Mario Land right now or uh, Super Nintendo World. I keep calling it Mario because there's only Mario there, but Super Nintendo World. Uh, so right now we're getting ready for our Toadstool reservation, but this is a, a line for a game right here and it's just crazy long. I mean, the entire world is completely filled up. Uh, I think the best money we spent was on that early entry. Uh, and I would have totally played the games in the morning instead of riding Bowser's Challenge twice. We rode it twice, it broke down. Instead of being able to ride it within 20 minutes, which is what the wait time said, we spent 45 minutes waiting in line for the second time uh, because it broke and we were just standing there. It was a bummer, a huge bummer. Um, I, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed in that, but we're gonna eat food and then go back into the rest of the park and enjoy outside here. I, I know I'm doing a lot of like front face talk right now, but um, in this land, I just walked from the Toadstool Cafe to the gift shop and I bumped into three people. It's so tightly packed here. You literally cannot walk without bumping into people because of how popular this is. I was hoping two weeks afterwards on a weekday, it wouldn't be that bad, but it, it just, it is. Go ahead. This is the only use for getting out of our band by the looks of it. <laughs> James is getting some coins here. So even with our return time, there's still just the massively long line that has not moved at all. Uh, so we're gonna see how long it takes us to actually get in there to eat. And at 40 minutes, our food is ordered and paid for and we have a table and now we're just waiting. I will admit that through all the wait, it is super cute in here. Look at the green pipes in the ceiling and the, there's like video screens all over the place. You can see them, you know, preparing your food, the little toads. Um, this is really fun. Here at our table, the kids have a booth here in the center, and uh, we've got a mushroom up there coming out of the green pipe, and this just looks really, really fun. Whoa, I just sat down. These seats are low, and they are tiny. Like, I feel like I'm gonna fall off the seat. It's not very, uh, not very comfortable in terms of space. <laughs> Time check, it has been 25 minutes since we sat down, uh, 65 minutes since we got in line. Uh, and we still don't have food. And uh, literally a minute later, our food came. So this is the, uh, the toadstool garlic knots. Over here is the fire flower spaghetti and meatballs. Right here is the Mario burger. And Amy got the Luigi burger. The Luigi burger comes with chicken and mine is with beef. And then, um, they, like I said, the kids have some spaghetti and meatballs. We're getting a plate for them to split that, an extra plate that they're gonna bring by. My Mario hat was a, a, a toothpick. 
Okay, well, we got out of the restaurant. We actually left the land completely, uh, and we are, let's just talk about the food real quick. Um, the spaghetti was actually pretty spicy. I'm surprised my kids ate it, but they loved it though. Uh, the burger was good, it was okay. Um, yeah, it was a burger. It was cute with the little Mario hat on it, and so I thought that was that was kind of nice. Um, and the, the knots, the little garlic knots, those, those were good too. But was it worth a 65 minute wait? You know, 40 minutes in line, 25 minutes for our food? Eh, probably not. You know, it would definitely be worth it if you could come on a less busy day or, you know, a year after this place has been open, that sort of thing. But I feel like right now, just with how popular it is, eh, not really. Right now we are gonna go do Jurassic World the ride. It's the final ride down here in the lower lot that we need to do. We wanna just knock it out before we head back up. That way we don't have to come back down to the lower lot again if we don't want to. We're at 12.40 in the afternoon on a Friday. The wait time is 25 minutes for Jurassic World. So well, here we are, we're already at the line. And look, five minutes and 59 seconds. That was not 25 That was minutes. not 25 at all. Told me a second ago? That was so fun. It was, wasn't it? <laughs> Looks like the raptor just came out over there at the raptor encounter. Alright, happy birthday, Vernon Bernie. How's it going, folks? Let's have you all hang out. Folks. Time to go back up to the upper lot. Next up is the secret life of pets off the leash. You push this up. And you can look in there and look, oh, you can oh, see the dog. Dang. There are no numbers, but there are a lot of them. Wow. You guys live around here? Or... No. Duke, I don't think they have homes. They don't have collars. No homes? Look, James, it's us. That was us. This is exciting, man. I feel like I'm doing a lot again. Good luck. What do you think of Secret Life of Pets? Thank you. Yeah? Yeah. No, you didn't warn me you get sprayed water on. Well, I, not that I remembered that, no. but but uh, yeah, no, it was a, a screenless ride. Well, there were a couple screens in there. Yeah, There's screens in all the rides, but it, it's definitely a lot of animatronics. Yeah. Time check, it is 1.45 in the afternoon. We have until 7 p.m. tonight, because it's a weekday, so it closes at 7 p.m. Uh, that gives us a little over five hours left. We have to do Despicable Me. Uh, the Kung Fu Panda show and the studio lot tour, uh, studio tour. Now, I think those are the only things that really we have left to do, because uh, we're not going to do Simpsons, because that ride would terrify Benjamin. I, I know it right now. Um, so three rides left with five hours to go. We're definitely going to cut it. Uh, then we'll be able to just kind of enjoy walking around the park, uh, see what else we could do here. I thought it was cute. Yeah? Yeah, that one didn't make me like, uh. You were worried about it going into it because I told you it was another simulator yeah, ride. it wasn't, it's like, it didn't swerve as much as all the other And it ones. wasn't 3D. Yeah, it's the 3D aspect that gets it. While we're in Hogsmeade, we're gonna decide to do Ollivander's. Uh, it's only a 10 minute wait at the moment. So James is wearing his one in a minion shirt that he got from school. Uh, what did you think of the minion ride? G good. Is that all you have to say? Uh, how about you, Benjamin? Good. You enjoyed it too? They're eating snacks at the moment. 
It's how they uh, get by with these lines where nothing moves. You are going to give your wand a flick and say, Akio Box. Butterbeer number two. <laughs> the kids are splitting this with me, by the way. I'm not all drinking it by myself. When I was here back in September, I totally drank it all by myself, all three of them. But the kids, uh, and Amy's probably not gonna have any of this. She likes the hot one better, uh, but the kids will definitely be sharing with me. Time to go do the studio tour. Seated and keep your arms and legs inside the vehicle at all times. That's rule two. Remember to use the red cord above your head if you need any assistance. The studio is private property. And if it's going to be good for an tour, hour of sitting down, phone or just he might fall asleep. Use the restroom. After stage 12 are stages 11, 10, 9, 8, and 7. Stages 11, 10, and 9, and the last two stages on the left here are stages 8 and 7. They're currently being used for season two of Bel Air. Bel Air is our fresh take on the classic Fresh Prince of Bel Air series. And I said the world is just around the corner from that block. But now, live from New York or New York Street. Everyone, a adventure awaits us. Please hold on to your personal belongings. Remain seated at all times. Stone Age vehicles for the 1994 live action Flintstones movie. A gyrosphere from Jurassic World, directed by Colin Trevorrow. The Raw Noise Electronics Van from Nope, both written and directed by Academy Award winner Jordan Peele. He really a big speed Rex there, the van was being angled by a crane. And look out, we're under attack by a couple of angry spinning Dilophosauruses. A low rumbling sound off in the distance. Uh oh, on the left, it looks like. It's a flash flood, heading straight to the van, take cover! So what did you think? It was fun. I'm uh, freezing now. You're freezing? I'm freezing. Because you got wet a little and bit? And my shoe is wet. Because <laughs> of the stupid flood. They had a couple of floods. I know. It was the earthquake flood. It like <laughs> literally sprayed my shoe with water. I got sprayed in the face quite a bit on one of them. Yeah. I can't remember. What, oh, the Kong. I think the Kong portion I got sprayed in the face a I lot I also got of. sprayed in the foot by one of those like dinosaurs when we walked, went by too. <laughs> What did you think, James? Was that pretty cool? Yeah. Yes? I don't even no, probably not. Did you know that those were like sets that they made actual movies on? Isn't that cool? I don't think he cares, but, but he's also really never seen those movies. He mostly just like watches Disney movies and things like that. Um, we ha we've introduced him to Jurassic Park. I think that might be like the only Universal movie he's seen. And we're back in Hogsmeade. Now we're going to the Three Broomsticks for dinner. And here she is, the three broomsticks. Okay, so I got a helping of the bangers and mash. Uh, last time I was here, I got the shepherd's pie and uh, Amy got the bangers and mash too. So we just, we got two helpings of bangers and mash. Uh, the kids over here have a chicken tenders and I'm gonna have to have some of those grapes because they won't sell them uh, individually. I might just have one or two of them because uh, I love grapes. And then the mac and cheese over here. Plus I got another frozen butter beer at number three. So how's your bangers and mash? You've been looking forward to three broomsticks. It's good. <laughs> it's comfort food. If you didn't know, uh, Amy's parents are British, and uh, they've had a lot of British food growing up. 
and so this just this is like comfort food for her okay so yeah it's off now so go ahead and it's not working yeah oh there you go there you go you just had to be finicky okay there we go Benjamin Benjamin come here Benjamin come here Okay, so you have to look at the quaffle. The quaffle is what's gonna... There it goes! You yeah! got it! All right! Yeah. Uh, where's the sensor? Right down there. Yeah! You got it! We're going back down to the lower lot now. Uh, we want to try to get back into Super Nintendo World. and. So it is six o'clock. This is an hour before park close. There is no virtual queue to get in. There is no line. We're literally just gonna walk into Super Nintendo World. We're gonna see how crazy busy it is though. It's still at an hour before closing. Okay, so we've entered the world and I can say that the lines look a lot better over here for these activities. Uh, maybe we'll hop in line for one of them. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's come over here though, cause they have a coin thing um, that we can, you know, bop the coin box. What are we doing right now, James? Um, playing a game. We're gonna play a game? Uh-huh. Yeah? We have all of the alarm clocks. They're gonna flash red. You need to just hit the blue part on top and turn them off, okay? You got that, James? Uh -huh. Alright. Bowser Jr. Here we go, we're gonna fight Bowser Jr. When bonbons are tossed at you, use your arms to swap them away. When you get a fireball, swing your arms to throw fireballs. Yes! Swing your arms to throw fireballs. So that was really, really fun. Uh, now, <laughs> coming to it at the end, I think getting those magic bands, those power bands, actually was worth it. Uh, we had a lot of fun playing those games, James and I, in the last little bit. Amy took Benjamin up to do a Kung Fu Panda show because he loves pandas and he was just being a little bit tired, worn out. Um, but anyway, we had loads of fun doing that game. Um, so some tricks, some hacks that I, I figured out here. Uh, first off, if you come the last like hour that the park is open, you're gonna be able to do most of the stuff there in Super Nintendo World as opposed to the rest of the times of the day. Also, um, you don't have to like tap your band to a block. You just have to be wearing it and then smack the block with your hand and that totally works out. And James, James was like the 62nd best person in the entire park today for score. He did an amazing job. So out of the thousands of people who came to Super Nintendo World today, buddy, you were number 62. You did awesome. Yeah. So did you have a really good time today, bud? Yes. <laughs> How much, do you like this park better than Disney or you like Disney better than here? What do you think? Both. Both, you love both? You can't compare them? Would you come back? Yeah, you like Walt, or <laughs> do you like Universal Studios Hollywood? Ah, the night view of the city. Gorgeous. Just as gorgeous at night as it is during the day. Well, that was it for our time here at Universal Studios for today. We had a really great time in the end. A little bit of some hiccups there with Super Nintendo World, but I think we had fun overall. And definitely looking forward to coming back at some point. Hit the like and subscribe if you want more content. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.